In this video, I'm going to show you how to create clickable links in your YouTube description box, and I'm going to address some frequently common errors. I'm going to show you one that I have right now so that you do not make it as well. We're going to use my Elite Fit with Andrea Jean channel right here. So let's say I went into my YouTube video. There are two places that you can put clickable links. The first one is here in your description box. You can see all of these links right here. Let's just check them, make sure that they're working. Let's click this Tabata playlist right here and make sure that it takes me within YouTube. Yep, there we are. There's the playlist. The second place that you can place clickable links is here as a pinned comment. But here is a major mistake. Oftentimes what people will do is let me go ahead and highlight this right here and let me just copy it. And let's say I wanted to pin this playlist down here to make it easier for people to find. And then I click comment. And then let's say I wanted to pin it. So I'm going to click these three dots right here. I'm going to click pin. You, you already have a pinned comment, this will replace it. Let's replace it. Okay, now let's go ahead and just click this link, what people would do when they're watching the video and see if it actually takes them to the playlist. Wah, wah, wah. It takes them to Bitly. This is not where I want people to go. So let me show you how to correct this and I will address another major mistake that people make. It's gonna go ahead and delete this pinned comment right here. I don't wanna send people off of the YouTube application. That is the goal to keep them on YouTube for as long as possible. So how do I pin this workout right here? So the whole Bitly situation, does not happen again. I'm going to go into YouTube Studio, customize channel. I'm going to go under content. Now you could have a Word document or a notes section where you save all of these clickable links, or you can just go in the direct video right here. And I'm going to scroll down to the full body Tabata workout. Here it is. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight this one. I'm going to copy it. And let's go ahead and put it in the pinned comment of that video that I just showed you. Going back to this foxy flat ab workout right here. Now, if I go ahead and pin this comment and paste it in there and I hit comment and let's say I wanted to pin it. All right, I'm going to pin it. Let's see if it takes us to where we need to go, which is that playlist. Yahoo, here we are. So here's the moral of this story is that you cannot just copy from your YouTube description box right here. Second thing, always check the links that you're putting in here to make sure it's going where you want them to go. So for example, I am an affiliate on Amazon, part of the Amazon Influencer Program. So I do make commissions off of anything I post. So for example, this purple sports bra right here, I wanna make sure that it works. And yes, it works. Here is the next mistake that people make. So I'm just gonna go in here and let's say I wanted to redirect people to my website and I typed in www andreagenco.com and I just left it like that and I went ahead and clicked save on the top right hand corner this is not going to take people to my website you cannot just go ahead and type this in the description box and expect it to be clickable but here's what you can do here we are on andreagenco.com what I would want to do is copy this exact web address I'm going to highlight it and then I'm going to right click and type in copy. This is gonna give me that full web address. And then I would go back in the description box, back in here, and then I would go ahead and paste this in. And you can see right here, here's the difference. It contains that HTTPS colon. This will create a clickable link. So the best way to do this is copy it from your web browser or one other option. Here it's giving me the option to copy this link. So let's say I copied this and let's say I just wanted to put it in the notes section right here, paste that in. All right, we're gonna return. Let's see if this actually works and takes them to where I want them to. And here we are back on the video. Let's say that you wanted to share a playlist and you wanted to have some really nice looking links rather than the gobbledygook that you may get. I'm here on the YouTube studio and I'm gonna go ahead and click playlists. Let's just go ahead and click in this playlist right here. So here's how you share an entire playlist. So if I click this share button right here, you can see this long link. Let me just go ahead and copy that. I'm gonna put this in a new notes section right here. Paste that in there. This does not look good if this was in your description box. So here's what I would recommend that you do. You can go to a free service called Bitly where you can shorten those links. You're going to go to the top right here and you're going to click create. Here's where you're going to enter that long URL that we just copied. And then if we scroll down, there is a orange button that says create. And then this will pop up. Since I've already shortened this link, as you can see here, I called it full body hit, no jumping. 
If the back half is not available, Bitly will let you know, and then you just need to play around with the wording. And then you copy that link, and then you would go ahead and put it, copy. You can put that in your description box, but make sure that you are copying those over just like I showed you. Now, if we click this right here, it's gonna take us to that particular playlist, as you can see right here. Click the video on screen now for some additional YouTube tips and tricks. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.